This is the Model E Comptometer. If you want to know how the Comptometer is used, you can look at my other videos. In this video I want to highlight what makes the Model E different. It was the first to have the controlled key uh, mechanism, so that if you partially depress a key, it locks up all the other columns and allows you to have uh, the opportunity to correct your mistake, to complete the keystroke, and then you can release the rest of the keyboard by pressing the red button. The Model E should have a white button instead of a red one. Uh, this one has obviously been replaced at some point in its life. But what, the, what makes the Model E really different are these uh, key guards. Uh, if you press only on the key guard, the key won't go down. It only is released by uh, pushing down the, the center button. That releases the, the key and then it, uh, it can move, move down. This uh, protects against you accidentally pressing two keys at the same time. If you press in between two buttons, nothing moves. This mechanism, however, is a little uh, fragile. The, uh, the, these uh, t keys are, are from two parts, they have two rods, and yeah, it, it breaks a bit, uh, so that's uh, in this case, for this, this key, for example, is, is come loose. And that's a common problem. You can see at the front here, some of these have little bits of wire tied around them so that these uh, they stay uh, close together. Another key, this one, has, has had its uh, two parts riveted together, so in this one the key guard doesn't actually... Uh, do anything and I think generally this whole uh, guard mechanism was too expensive and yeah people don't really make that mistake that often by they don't really miss hit a key that often the operators of these machines were trained and yeah that's not a mistake they make easily so on all the later models that this these key guards were removed Yeah, this model does still have uh, the old uh, zeroing mechanism. It's a bit te temperamental. You have to move it back and then put it forward, and that uh, clears the mechanism, that clears the register. But if you do it a bit too slowly, it, uh, it doesn't do the overflow to all zeros. You have to do it with a bit of a swing, and then it works. So this is the model e-comptometer.